Hello, everybody. Last time, I actually using the text-to-speech technique to generate artificial voice for my end-to-end -end AI ops video. So in this session, I'm going to introduce how can you just using the NVIDIA's River speech skills you know, service to generate the artificial voice for yourself. So let's start. First of all, just like to clone and download uh, this report to your local machine and you can run in the any tutorial notebook for the different purpose, such like the text to speech. Okay, here I already download this notebook and open the text to speech Python basics. Okay, basically for text to speech service you can using either um, notebook to generate the voice or using the command line so i'm going to try both today so let's say if we first try the notebook so what is the nvidia river actually it is a gpu based sdk for building the convolutional ai applications that are customized for your specific use cases and deliver real-time performance. River offers a rich set of the speech and natural language understanding services, such like the SR, automatic speech recognition, also known as speech to text, STT, and also on the opposite way, text to speech, TTS. Also a collection of the natural language processing services, such as like the name and entity recognition, punctuations, intent classification, and so on. So in this notebook, we are going to interact with the text-to-speech synthesis APIs. Okay, so there's also like more information you can find and uh, in that uh, river developer documentation. Okay, so the river text-to-speech service is based on a two-stage pipeline. The first stage, the river generates a male spectrogram using the first model, and then in the second stage, generates the speech using the second model. So this pipeline actually forms a text-to-speech system that enable you to synthesize natural sounding speech from the raw text transcripts without any additional information, such like the patterns or the rhythms of the speech. River provides two state-of-art voices, one male and one female for English. So please note here, currently only um, the American English voice is supported. That can easily be deployed with the River Quick Start scripts. River also supports the easy customization of the text-to-speech in various ways to meet your specific needs, such like the changes the, the pitch rate and the volume of the voice generated. So this can be uh, mentioned in another tutorial. So the subsequent river releases will include features such like the model registration to support the multiple languages and voices with the same API and also support for the resampling to alternative uh, sampling rates. Okay, so we can refer to the river text to speech documentation for info, more info. So let's generate the audio using the river API with the auto box English text to speech pipeline. So here, this is the three steps as like a prerequisite to running the uh, river speech text to speech, okay? So first of all, you have to start the real speech skill server and uh, follow this instruction in the real quick start uh, guide to actually to install and deploy the, the SR models on the real speech skills server before running this tutorial. So this is the um, quick get started guide and you can just like, look through and uh, set up your uh, river. Uh, service instance. So by default, again, the only English model are deployed. And also you do need a GPU server for 
river installation. So if you don't yet have a local GPU server, you can go to the Google Cloud, uh, what has AI or the AWS or the Microsoft Azure Cloud to actually to spin up some virtual machine with the GPU support. Okay. Secondly, install the river client library. So just follow this um, um, instructions and to actually to install the river client. Okay. Then you also need to install some additional Python library to run this tutorial. For example, we need the NumPy to read the output from the river text-to-speech request. So if you have not yet installed NumPy in your virtual environment, just make sure you install it before running the notebook. Okay. So then uh, we just import the river client libraries and then create the river clients and connect to the river speech API server. So by default, uh, the um, river speech API server is, is deployed on the um, 50051 port. So in case the server deployed on the different host or why the Helm chart on Kubernetes, then, then you should actually using a uh, you know, different URL, okay? So after we create the river clients and connect to the uh, river speech API server, so we can just run in the text-to-speech uh, engine. So basically, the river text-to-speech supports both streaming and the batch uh, processing inference modes. In the batch mode, so audio is not written until the full audio sequence for the request text is generated and can achieve high throughput. Whereas when, while you are making a streaming request, the audio chunks are returned as soon as they become available, significantly reduce the latency and uh, for some large requests. So let's take a look at the example showing the batch mode text-to-speech API usage. So Let's make a gRPC request to the river speech server for the text to speech in batch inference mode. Okay, so this is the code chunk for this purpose. And um, this is some explanations. Okay, so the language code is actually the language of the generated audio. So EN US represents the American English and is currently the only language supported out of box for the river. And again, as I said in the future release, they will support more languages. Okay. So encoding is actually the type of the audio encoding to generate. Currently only the linear uh, PCM is supported. And also the sample rate is actually the uh, sample rate of the generated audio. So it depends on the microphones, it's typically either 22 kHz or 44 kHz. The voice name is actually the, the, the name of the voice to, uh, to be used to synthesize the audio. Currently, River offers two auto box voices. One is English um, female, another is English female. Okay. Here, I just like to give some any like the text, you know, the samples I want and then just let the river text-to-speech API to generate the, uh, the artificial voice. And uh, first of all, I'm going to try the uh, American English voice, uh, female voice, okay? So let's run this uh, cell, okay? After that, you can see. Text-to-speech technology enables text to be converted into speech sounds imitative of the human voice. Okay, that is a female voice. Now I'm coming out and then try the male voice. Okay. Text to speech technology enables text to be converted into speech sounds imitative of the human voice. Mm, not so bad, isn't it? So um, for this initial hands on uh, test and experiment, I would say uh, the result is. Uh, Quite good. So I like the voice of the male and the female, uh, American English sound. Also, 
some things uh, I'm looking for the improvement, like the it still sounds like the machine, right? Artificial sound. So if they can just like uh, to add the more emotion to the uh, voice generators, that can become even better. Okay. So after that, you know, you can always like uh, go deeper into the river. You know the you know the uh, you know the framework to look at the what functions it. Uh, offers and what you can do with the river SDKs for the text to speech, speech to text, uh, which we are going to cover later in the following video sessions. Okay, and also you can refer to the additional resources. Okay, as I said, you know, you can not only using the notebook to address to the text to speech, also you can use in command line. So for this purpose, I'm actually the uh, log into my GPU server, and you can see the latest version of the river is the 2.7.0. And uh, if you uh, watch this video later, you will probably find like the even uh, newer version of the river will become available for you to download and install for your use case. Okay, but I will think the syntax to run in the uh, all this river text to speech service will be pretty much the same. Okay. Okay. So let's see. You can see it's a bunch of the scripts for running the river service. First of all, you have to start the river uh, server. So that is actually the, to call the this river underscore start. And you can see my river server already started. Okay, and running. So great. Okay, next one. I'm going to start you know, my river client. Okay, and then I'm actually uh, start my river client instance and get into the river service container. Okay, you can see the container. So basically, I want to generate some uh, artificial voice using the river text to speech. So here you can see, I just like to provide any uh, text samples. Hello world. This is our typical classic. You know the first uh, program and uh, to develop uh, for any uh, you know the technique in software engineering. Okay. So the voice name English US female, and then you can give the the any name to the uh, voice uh, file. And you generate it. Okay, here I'm just female.web, right? So it's pretty quick. It's just take like a dot zero five seconds to generate the female voice. So if I look at it, you can see the female voice audio file has been generated. Okay. So how about I just like to actually the generates male's voice for the same text. Okay, for this purpose, it just like to change the voice name from female to male. Okay, and the audio name, I'll say, okay, male, okay, right. Again, it's very quick. And uh, you can see now I have the female and the male audio file generated thanks to the river text to speech API. So this is also showing how can you do the text to speech generations using the both notebook and the command line. Um, okay, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something uh, today and uh, we are going to agree to talk more about the river convolutional IR framework and how can we just like uh, dive deep into the natural language processing and also the especially uh, SR automatic speech recognition text to speech techniques uh, later on. Thank you for watching. Bye.